Jenny Reeves, the Nebraska Extension Educator, recently wrote that soil moisture sensors can be a valuable tool for farmers. In irrigated crop fields, the sensors can improve efficiency by providing a soil moisture profile. Lately, Jenny has encouraged producers to use soil moisture sensors in non-irrigated, no-till crop fields to help better understand the amount of moisture that is in the ground before planting. We met with Jenny at the UNL East Campus North Fields to learn more about how farmers can utilize soil moisture sensors prior to the 2018 growing season. Well, for irrigation scheduling, it's a tool that farmers can know what their soil moisture profile is. And what we're doing is we're using them actually in non-irrigated settings right now just to figure out what the soil moisture profile is going into the springtime so that farmers know how much moisture they have before planting. So installing, whether you're doing this for irrigation scheduling during the growing season or whether you're doing this now to figure out your beginning soil moisture, basically you just use a regular soil probe and what we're using is just watermark sensors and in my case we're also connecting them to data loggers. In the off season right now we also recommend using temperature sensors as well because these data loggers, the temperature in them is set at 70 degrees for the soil temperature. And we know we're far away from that right now in the 30s and 40s across the state. So the temperature sensor really is needed if they're going to be installing in the off season right now. According to Jenny, she has already installed soil moisture sensors in six non-irrigated no-till fields in Webster, Knuckles, Thayer, and Clay counties. By installing these sensors, Jenny is able to determine the beginning soil moisture, which will help farmers make smart planting decisions. So we've installed them in Webster, Thayer, Knuckles, and Clay counties. And the reason for that is because as we look at the drought monitor all around us, it appears that there's drought. Nebraska looks pretty good overall, but in those counties that I'm serving, it's showing on the drought monitor that it's abnormally dry. And so I was curious where we're truly at for soil moisture. And so working with the farmers in that area, that's why we installed these sensors. We further asked Jenny about the current soil moisture results from those sensors. So far what we found is that the third and fourth foot of that, full, of that soil moisture profile is dry, meaning that it's beyond 50% depletion in those feet. So it's information that the farmers can use to know that they don't have a full soil moisture profile as of right now going into the planting season. According to Jenny, past installments of soil moisture sensors prior to planting have helped farmers gather information about their field soil in order to make smart decisions, especially for non-irrigated land. I, I realize that planting plans are already in place for most farmers, but it does give them options for Maybe they switch to Milo instead of corn if we, if we don't have enough, um, if we don't get spring rains like we normally get. Maybe they have actively growing rye right now that they choose not to terminate and they use it for feed if they have cows. Maybe instead of planting corn or soybeans, they plant feed because we know that there's drought all around us and we know that it's dry there in these counties and so it may be just giving them options to consider. Again, we have to see what happens with moisture. Hopefully we do get some rains in April and May and yet there's other parts of the state that don't want as much rain right now too. So we know it varies throughout the state.